We're here in the University of Massachusetts Amherst uh, at the Fish Passage 2011 conference. A great conference. We got many countries represented here. We got 28 states. We have a lot of uh, attendees and great presentations about the science and technology that is ever emerging for Fish Passage. This conference is the very first of its kind. It's an opportunity for people all across the U.S. In fact, we had representatives from 32 different states to come together to discuss the progress we've made in terms of fish passage engineering and to plan the future. Well, this conference it has brought together over 300 uh, people that are in, involved in fish passage engineering and, and, and uh, fisheries and uh, and biology and uh, water resources and uh, allowed them to share uh, information and uh, uh, gain insights from each other's work to, to see their successes and uh, discuss the problems that, they, that we all face in trying to solve this problem. So I was asked to come in and be a plenary speaker. Um, I was also giving a presentation. My main interest is I'm just interested in us doing more conferences like this, uh, more fish passage focused conferences because um, my main focus is fisheries engineering and we don't have a lot of times to network and bring people together on this subject. And I think we need to do a better job with that nationally and definitely within the Northeast mm -hmm. and get to the point where we, um, not only, we can see what other people are doing, what's working, what's not working, we can exchange information better. And so yeah, it's so, extremely important for a conference like this, uh, in my mind, for us to start the dialogue of what technologies are going on across the country, what, how people fund things, how people build things, uh, you know, lessons learned, what's worked, what's failed. It, is there an opportunity that with some slight modifications for my systems out west that the things that folks do back here might work better and might cover a wider range of species? So uh, this kind of information exchange is, is really important and, and it's also important at least for me personally because I'm a fish biologist, I'm not an engineer. And so I get an, and I don't have an engineer in my region on staff specifically with the Fish and Wildlife Service. I work with a lot of great engineers from other agencies but uh, it's very important for me to come to a conference like this where I think we get the fish biologists trying to get a little more technical and learn some of the engineering and we get a lot of the engineers really trying to help get some of their very specific discipline uh, you know and very technical details out to us in a way that we can understand and uh, I think this is this week's been fantastic for that sort of information exchange between the two disciplines that's where the evolution has come is the merger of all of these different disciplines as I become a multidisciplinary approach involving the communication part but also the social science aspect of it we're now looking at work with communities and communities are getting involved in reaping the benefits of fish passage projects and therefore in the future I see even a, a further merger of all of those capacities uh, so that uh, we accomplish further our goals.